Here is your captain speaking, Captain Emmanuel, God with us. Welcome, and have a safe 2020 flight, for it looks like we are in for some turbulence. Thank you for choosing Salvation Journey, on the road of restorative justice. We present information for quick thinkers. From Br'er Caleb, PhD, we release comments from people that follow what's happening. Tough times never last, tough people do. Don't regret a day of your life. Good days, give you happiness, and bad ones experience. Yet, both are unique experiences for life. Have you ever wondered, why God loves us? Why God create man before woman? 1. What if God loves you, and you don't like his church? 2. How do we make sense of our times anno 2020? 3. Why did God create man before woman? Is it because he wanted no advice, on how to do it? 4. What time of the day, was Adam created? A little before Eve, silly. 5. Why couldn't Jonah trust the oceans? He knew there was something fishy about it. 6. Who was the worst sinner in the Bible? Moses of course, he broke all ten commandments at once. 7. What are pastors called in Germany? German shepherds. 8. How long did Cain hate his brother? As long as he was able. 9. What is your and my excuse to God? 10. Staying away from the one who created and still loves us. As a father, awaiting the return of his prodigal son and daughter? Thanks for your interest, as I hope we are getting better acquainted. I am working on the production of my book, Deception Protocol, The Prodigal Son Blueprint. Did Trump kill JFK? No, but he sure killed the American dream for many. When I wrote it, I had gone through years of meetings with three lying spirits, mentioned in the book of Revelations. I call these spirits PMS, politics, money, spirituality, religion. When our son passed away in my arms, our world collapsed, and we needed a change. Going to Canada went smooth, after we sold everything and moved. I learned, that what all those in power taught us, about principles, were full of holes. I used to work on Wall Street in New York, in a private bank setting. Though, when I turned down a proposal of a friend of mine, all hell broke loose. He was the head of the Freemasons locally, and I experienced lawyers, officers, and high-ranking government individuals, abused their power. Everything went wild, for 18 years, as we were in court. 12 years without lawyers, called self-defense, contrary to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I wrote five books about this journey. 1981 to 2015. Through social media, I learned to reach out, and now I am producing the Br'er Caleb, Ph.D., Deception Protocol Simplified. From Br'er Caleb, Ph.D. A pen name of a citizen of the other kingdom, as the Ph.D. stands for Posthole Digger, for we will continue to dig for a proper foundation for our prodigal son and daughter. Tough times never last, tough people do.